Okay, so um, I'm just going to tie for you the ham and cheese jelly fritz blob booby. Um, this is a new colour scheme for a, for a blob designed by Rob Edmonds. It's super, super effective. Um, okay, so I'll show you how to tie it. So the hook we're using is a um, fully milled competition heavyweight in a size 10. So just put the hook in the vise. And the thread we're using is 8O Uni in Fire Orange. So attach our thread first. We just catch it on, we won't run all the way down first because we need to tie on the booby eyes. So the eyes on this are, uh, it's a 5mm booby tube and I've rounded the, uh, rounded the ends off already. Uh, we're going to show you how to do this in another video, so uh, I won't do this right now. So I've got one ready made. So now I'll show you how to tie on the, uh, the booby eyes. So I like to attach it to a thread first and then wind it onto the hook. So I'll show you how to do it. Uh, firstly you want to take two turns of thread around the centre of the uh, little foam pill. Just got to make sure it's as close to the centre as possible. Okay, and then you just pull that tight. Okay, so once you've got that on there, you can roll it around. It's roughly in the centre, it's close enough for me. You can just wind that on. Position it up on top of the hook shank and then we just use figure of eight turns to fix it into place. Okay. Okay, so once you're happy with it, a few turns underneath and just pull that tight. Just tightens up your figure of eight turns and then take your thread to the um, point midway between hook point and hook barb. Okay, so when we're there, we just want to tie in a short marabou tail. So I'll just get a little piece of uh, white marabou. So we tie it in longer and then we just um, pinch it down to size. Okay, so just remove some of the fluff from the base of the marabou. And just tie it in along the, along the hook shank there. Again, making sure you stop your uh, thread midway between hook point and hook barb. Okay, so we just pinch this short. And then we start, we tie in some of our body material. So the, um, the butt of this fly is tied with um, 15 mil comp pink jelly fritz. Uh, it's really good material. It's probably the best sort of material for uh, for tying this style of fly. So I've just stripped away some of the fibres from the core and I'll just tie in the core. So at the rear of this fly we want four turns of this material. Before you start winding it, just make sure that uh, the material isn't twisted, just makes it a bit easier to tie down, or to wind rather. So we take four turns, touching turns at the back here, Every turn, brush the fibres backwards. Um, just makes for a nice, neat fly. Okay. Once we've got there, just cut that off, and then again we strip away the the uh, fibres from the core, because uh, what we want to do is just tie down the. Uh, just tie down the core of this material. Okay. Right, so the front half of this fly is tied with um, 15 mil jelly again, but this time in the colour zest. So just strip away a few fibres from the core and we just tie down the core. Okay, run your thread up just to behind the eyes. And again, make sure it's not twisted before you start winding it. 
and then make nice touching turns with the material up towards the booby eyes. Then once we reach the booby eyes here, once again, cut the material a bit longer than you need it to be and just strip away the, um, the fibres from the core. I just like to wrap the core around my thread and then you can just sort of pull it up into place, there, catch that in. And a few more turns just to secure it. If there's any fibres of the material of the uh, jelly fritz sticking forwards, just try and push them backwards and secure them in place with a couple of turns of thread. Cut away your um, the core for the fritz. And then if we just do a lick of super glue on the thread, and then we can just do a whip finish just behind the eye. Cut the thread away, and that's your uh, ham and cheese jelly fritz blob booby.